G'day, Sambo here. Just talking about my latest timber finds. I've been buying some Australian red cedar on eBay and I was on Facebook chatting with some mates about it. One of them told me to stop buying it on eBay because he had plenty I could get for free. So all of these windows, they're all Australian red cedar but they're about stuffed or they've just been sitting out in the weather. There's an example of what that timber's like. Anyway, worst case scenario, I can get, use it for firewood. And apart from that, all the glass is still fairly good. These windows are probably about 100 years old by now. We've got these posts off him. Not sure what timber they are, but I don't think it's cedar. But it cost me nothing, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. Anyway, I'll take you around in the front of the house and show you what else I got from him. Bit of a struggle to see there. But all that timber cost me nothing. That's good stuff. It's been looked after, stored under a shed. I've got a few projects in mind for this. And here's the stuff that I bought on eBay. Skirting boards. I think I paid about $150 for the skirting boards. All of these other small pieces. Uh, I worked out about $150 for that whole pile there. I think it was. I worked out about $1.55 a piece, which is alright for bits like that. It starts making bits like this look a bit dear. Anyway, I'll be able to put it to good use. I've been back to the junkyard for a bit. Managed to pick up this Pevis Eaton stormwater pipe, 90 millimeter diameter. I think those were only a couple of bucks a length. So I'll come in handy because I want to put the um, stormwater for the house overhead to the tank. At the moment it goes underground and that's a bit of a pain in the ass. This still C section it cost me oh, about seven, eight dollars a length. One fifty millimeter cross section, two point six meters long, so it's about eight foot ten inches. This is structural steel. Quite often the steel sheds that are built over here, the posts and the rafters are made out of this. So whenever I see it I grab it. It's not going to rust away in a hurry. And it's always going to come in handy. I make stands for beehives out of it. I can make buddy sheds tank stands, anything like that. One thing I've noticed over here lately, a lot of people are just throwing out timber entertainment units. Nothing fancy. But what's happening is people are buying these new LED screens, the widescreen TVs, and all of a sudden they don't fit in the old entertainment unit. You can't sell them, no bastard wants to buy them. So I pick them up for nothing. It's only pine, it's not fantastic timber, but I'll be able to use it for small projects, maybe even make some beehives out of it. Worst case scenario, it's free firewood, or it cost me a bit of a bit extra fuel to get it down here in the back of the trailer. Well I've got this TV unit busted down, I've got some useful timber out of it. Two of these longer pieces from the side, they'll do for making beehives. 
should go close to getting a box out of each of those two bits. And we've got five of these other odd shaped pieces. I'll be able to get the decent length out of them. Probably go close to making a hive out of hive body out of each one of those. So when you go to that TV unit, I should be able to make half a dozen hive bodies. Then I've got this tongue and groove stuff from the back of the unit. I think I'll stick with stick to making using that for bookshelves or something like that. Anyway, a bit of fuel, a bit of effort just to get a TV unit, bust it up. There's a fair bit of useful timber out of that. So keep an eye on my channel. Eventually I'll show you what I've been what I'm going to do with all of this. Show you how I build my nuke boxes. Thanks for watching.